sometimes I feel like I can't truly be a man comfortably in public. Now, if this is your secret and you'd like to step forward and claim it and share your story, you may do so on three. One, two, three. I came out as transgender when I was 14 years old, right after my father passed away. My dad was very abusive and very homophobic, so I never came out due to just being scared of what my life would be like. Um, so as soon as he passed away, I came out to my mom, who was always, always on my side. She was one of my biggest fans. Um, and as I went through high school, I had a very like on top of the world feeling. I loved what it felt like to be myself. It was the best thing that I had ever experienced. Um, in my junior year, towards the end of the year, I was walking into the bathroom and somebody followed me in there and grabbed me by my neck and threw me into the wall and choked me and held me there until I was basically begging for mercy. And I went to my school about it and they didn't do anything. They told me that because it happened in the bathroom, it wasn't something that they could prove actually happened. So I didn't tell anyone for months. I just let it eat away at me. I just went to school every day terrified for my life. Between that and how much I was drinking, that was what finalized my decision to drop out. But it was also what kind of taught me that I can't live in this, this little hole that I was living in. I decided that the only way that I should be living my life was fully as myself. So I pushed through and I finished high school early and I was able to enjoy my first real year being me. And it was the best decision I ever made but I still feel as if when I go in public, I can't truly be who I am. I feel like everyone's looking at me all the time. I feel like everyone's views are being pushed onto me. Can I ask why you wanted to share that secret today? My community is, really needs it right now. Um, it's really sad to go online every day and you know see my trans brothers and sisters getting killed, getting murdered. So it's really important for me to stand up now because, because my generation really needs it. So. If anyone can relate to Jaden's secret, you may step forward on three. One, two, three. Hi. For me, I grew up in a very religious and almost like traditional household. I'm openly queer, and I feel like a lot of times, like especially like the way I dress, like I'm very more like flamboyant and more feminine look presenting. So I feel like a lot of my family members, they look down upon that. Just like from my past the situations, like I've worn like full on pink from head to toe, like and out and about. And I've had like other men like take pictures of me, laugh at me, like make fun of me. I even had like other like male like figures and even like kids like poke fun at me being like, oh yeah, like why are you so gay? And like call me f and stuff like that. Cause then, like, and I think at that time, I didn't really know what those words meant. So that's even kind of like even hits worse knowing that like I don't even know what that means. And you're just saying all these negative terms at me. So uh, in addition to like why I'm, so, why I'm standing here, I feel like I can openly share that with you because I feel like you've been able to like, open that kind of like safe space for me to share that. Yeah, I'm really glad I was able to do that for you. Thank you. Thank you. I was arrested for attempted murder. I just got caught up in a nasty fight, and at the time, I believed my best option was to kill him. I was afraid, and I was already wounded, so I decided to stab him to death. But I wasn't able to finish the job, thankfully. Um, that was a miracle in itself. So I was sent to jail, and by the grace of God, I was released. Um, that was a miracle in itself as well. But the real secret is, I used to be a person full of hatred and anger, and I'd be lying if I said that I didn't already have thoughts of killing him, and I, I had let my anger and resentment, you know, get the best of me. People look at me and think like, oh, he's harmless, like, he's not this big tough guy, he's not gonna hurt you. Really, I'm, I'm hiding these demons that I don't want you to see, 
So yeah, after I got out of jail, I felt a lot of remorse because I saw the pain and sorrow brought to my family. And my mom had to sit me down and she was disappointed in me and ashamed of me. And that destroyed me. It was kind of like a wake up call for me. It's like, damn, Jonathan, you got a fucking problem here. Um, I, I prayed to God for forgiveness. Um, I apologized to my victim actually, and I asked him to forgive me too, which was really difficult to do. But I realized I wasn't able to forgive myself and I was having like PTSD flashbacks. I couldn't sleep and seeing the moment where he was bleeding out on the floor, squirming and going cold and it haunted me for a very long time. Um, I had a really good therapist who taught me anger management, helped me through my trauma. I got deep into like journaling and I'm still, I'm still in the journey right now. Um, I'm getting a lot better. I actually almost got fired from my job because I almost beat up my coworker. Sorry, mom. Uh, but I'm, I'm giving myself grace because I'm proud of myself that I didn't act like the unhealed version of myself would have. So the main thing I had to learn was giving myself compassion, learning that it's okay. It's understandable that I was acting like that because of what I went through in my childhood. But teaching myself, rewiring my brain to learn that it's safe and that I'm not in danger and I don't have to fight anymore. Um, the reason why I share this story is because I want anyone that shares a similar experience to know that you are not bad. You are not the villain. You are just hurt and you're carrying a lot of pain. But trust me when I tell you, you can heal and you can change. Just know that you are good and that you are still worthy of love. Boys, you just hit the nail on the head. I mean, grace, compassion for yourself and Everything that you said, you are such an inspiration, man. And I'm glad that you shared. So thank, thank you, you. Yeah. For me, I really related with like the um you were talking about you having anger issues. Yeah. My whole family knows that I have anger issues and it's just like I've been I've been trying to like cope with it in several different ways. One being the gym, like the main wow. that's like my main like everything that you know, like I collect everything that I'm mad at and just kinda like it's, it's like throwing wood in, in a furnace and then everything smoking up, you know? Mm. Yeah, I feel like I spent a lot of my life 